Hi there, I'm Alicia Malone and following Eddie Muller's Noir Alley, we are keeping the noir vibes going with our first film this afternoon from 1948 starring Virginia Mayo and Bruce Bennett. It's Smart Girls Don't Talk. That was the final title choice with the working titles being Smart Girls Don't Cry and Dames Don't Talk. But reportedly the production code administration said no to the use of the word dames. This was produced by Warner Brothers, who had originally thought of doing a remake of Marked Woman from 1937, starring Humphrey Bogart and Betty Davis. Writer William Sackheim was assigned, but he changed the story so much that he was given full credit for his original script. Virginia Mayo had started out as a Goldwyn girl for producer Sam Goldwyn, but he quickly noticed that she had acting talent beyond her good looks and cast her opposite Bob Hope in The Princess and the Pirate from 1944. Mayo was then paired with Danny Kaye. They became successful on-screen partners and starred together in a series of films. She also appeared in Goldwyn's The Best Years of Our Lives from 1946 and would have her most famous role the year after Smart Girls Don't Talk with James Cagney in White Heat. This was Mayo's first film on the Warner Brothers lot and she plays a society girl named Linda Vickers who falls for the owner of a casino and nightclub, Marty Fane, played by Bruce Bennett. But soon Linda finds herself involved in a police case and her brother, played by Robert Hutton, warns her to be careful. Let's see it from 1948. This is Smart Girls Don't Talk. Smart Girls Don't Talk was the feature film directorial debut of Richard Bear, though he was already something of a veteran at Warner Brothers by this point. You'd see he'd started directing in 1942, making the comedic short instructional film So You Want to Give Up Smoking. This starred George O'Hanlon as Joe McDokes, and Bear and O'Hanlon had written the script. Many more So You instructional films with O'Hanlon followed, including So You Want to Be Popular, So You're Going to the Dentist, So You Love Your Dog, and ending in 1956 with So Your Wife Wants to Work. Richard Bear filmed Smart Girls Don't Talk in only 18 days with a budget of under $200,000. As he wrote in his memoir, Confessions of a Hollywood Director, he received good reviews for the film but was held back in the B Picture unit at Warner Brothers. Bear wrote that Saul Elkins, the producer of the B Picture unit, wouldn't let me become available for any of the A producers. The reason was simple. I was making him look good. I came in on schedule and usually under budget. Bear would make a few more B pictures before working in television, directing episodes of Lassie and The Donna Reed Show. And we're staying on the Warner Brothers lot for our next film. This one is from 1951, starring Joan Crawford as a congresswoman who takes a trip back to her old university and down memory lane. Next on TCM, goodbye my fancy, then love in the afternoon, and later vertigo. Don't look down at TCM today.